What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you gameplay and a guide on how you get the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun and to be honest, it's a beast as you'd expect. Now big thanks to my pal DLCG Ninja for allowing me to use his account. His YouTube can be found linked within the video description if you do want to go show him some love. Also before we move on, if you do enjoy the video leaving a thumbs up really helps out. And to be in with a chance of winning my exclusive Gambit emblem code, make sure you are subbed to the channel and leave a comment down below. Ok so I made a video covering this weapon before the Forsaken was released. I went off data mind quest steps and to be honest it was kind of spot on but a few things are now different in how you actually get this thing uh, completed so let's get into it so to trigger the actual quest uh, my pal state him and his friends who were all in the fire team at the exact same time who got it all got this upon entering the dreaming city now I did a little research and this has happened to many many people but to folks like me and a couple of my pals we have received nothing so far Further research shows some people receiving it randomly while playing PvP. Other state they've had it dropped from dismantling legendary gear. Now I've done all three of these plenty of times and at the moment I haven't received a damn thing. Could it just be a random drop? I ain't sure, I believe there might be a bug somewhere, we never know. My main source states it's definitely a drop you should receive leading up to campaign completion. So how are people getting it in PvP? And it's actually legit guys, if you search YouTube about the chaperone, you'll see people playing PvP and it just pops up on their screen. You'll see people dismantling legendary armor and it pops up on their screen. So me personally, I think it could be just something random. Now once you do get it pop up, the first step will tell you to go and talk to Amanda Holiday. She then sends you into the crucible and here you have to get 20 shotgun kills. Well this is easy as you know guys. The next step again is crucible. Now according to the questline data mine, you have to get 500 kills with each burn element. When in fact this actually isn't the case at all, thank everything. It's actually a percentage kind of thing and I believe it's about 30 to 40 kills and this can be done with any weapon so you don't have to use shotguns, you can use pulse rifles with soul ash, void, arc, whatever. The catch here is though, if you die the percentage goes down. So yeah, try not to die too much for sure. I do believe it's around 3 to 4% per kill so it shouldn't be too long. Once you have done the kills with each burn element in PvP, the next step is to get 15 guardian kills while playing Gambit. This means you have to either invade the enemy's side and get them kills, or kill invaders. Again though, here you can use any weapon, so get your sleepers out boys! And guys, that's basically it. Once you've done the Gambit stage of the quest, go back to Amanda Holiday and she will reward you the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun. Now I remember this weapon in D1, it was a weapon many loved but others hated because it was hard to use. After playing with it for about 20 minutes I can tell you it feels identical, so I believe it will have the same fan base it once did. I can confirm the range is still scandalous, hitting them one hit headshots from crazy distances will definitely be a thing. You just have to have great accuracy because as you know this thing is a slug shotgun. I found myself missing folks at point blank range, it's crazy. But yeah guys, this is the chaperone and how it's obtained. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if so leaving a like really helps out. If you've had this drop, this quest drop, let me know and let everybody else know in the comment section how it dropped for you. Thanks as always for stopping by, if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on the next one.